Take one. Thank you. Hey! What? I'm gonna post that. I need to pee. Okay, go pee. And I don't apologize for that. Ugh. Hey everyone, it's Carly, and welcome here back to my channel, and welcome to my summer self-tan routine. I have been wanting to film this for a while now, but I wanted to make sure that I had like more than just one product to show you just because I've really tried to narrow down my tan routine especially this summer I feel like every summer I really do love to get tan and like be bronzed and glowy and all of that but I feel like it takes a while to really like hold on to those good products and find the ones that work for you and for your skin and that just make you feel good because at the end of the day in shorts and tank tops and all that stuff I feel like I can't be myself unless I have a nice cute tan so i'm really excited about this video and i'm excited to share these products with you if you guys are excited about the video give it a huge thumbs up and if you are new to my channel i would love to have you subscribe so hit that big red subscribe button and let's get to it okay so i thought i would first start with prep because i feel like that is the first step in any good tan routine and so something that I just barely learned and have seen such a huge difference I might be the only one that didn't know this but I didn't know that you weren't supposed to shave and then like immediately after put tanning on so what I do now is I hop in the shower the night before exfoliate all of my skin shave all of my areas and then I let that kind of sit and then the next day is when I'll go in my self tanner so the reason why you don't want to self tan from what I'm aware of is because your pores are open and the tan will just kind of seep into the pores and it'll be a little splotchy so that is my first tip shower and shave the night before and then the next day you can put your tan on so before I shower I go in with my exfoliators so one of the first things I use right before I get into the shower is my body brush my dry brush here and this is from eco tools and I've talked about um, dry brushing before and I've loved it I love doing this every single day in the winter just to really like help get off those dead skin cells I also really love it for blood flow and circulation and also I love it to exfoliate my skin right before I tan so I do this right before I get into the shower and I found this just at like Target um, there's loads on Amazon I will link some of my favorite down below um, but this one's nice and at first it's pretty tough like I when I first used this I literally thought I was scraping off my skin it hurt me really bad um, but not enough to like stop using it you're just like really red after and I still get red just because my skin is a little bit more sensitive but it's really good for your skin and I highly recommend it so once you get past the first initial brushes then it's like good so this is a heavy-duty one that I really love but I also have another option for those that are like want to exfoliate but not as rough as this because um, some skin types are a little bit different so I have this little silicone one here again that I just got at Target this one like sticks onto my shower so I love to have this in the shower and it still does the same thing it's still gonna exfoliate your skin but it's a little bit softer um, so I find that like using both of these is a good combination for me when I don't have too much leftover tan I like to just use this one but when I really need to get my tan off I love to go in with my heavy-duty one and really scrub it off and exfoliate my skin so those are the two products that I use before I get into the shower once I'm in the shower I just do my thing wash my skin shave my legs all of that stuff but I did want to talk about exfoliating my face so I don't use the dry brush on my face at all just because it's a, my face is way too sensitive for that um, but I do have a specific exfoliating cleanser that I love to use on the days when I want to get off my tan because I do tan my face so twice a week I usually do it on Wednesdays and Sundays that's just how my brain works I love to go in with this Botanic Tree Simply Organic Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Cleanser. So this is a physical exfoliant that I found works really well on my skin. I know some of them are not great for your skin. This one had amazing reviews and I personally have loved it and I haven't seen anything go funky with my skin ever since I've been using this so I love to use this to really help exfoliate my skin and get that like residue tan because even though I use like specific tanning drops for my face I feel like it's still just at the end of the week you can see that you just need to scrub it off and start fresh now I don't go super hard with this because you do want to be careful with your skin um, especially like around your eyes and all of that so I'm very gentle with it but it still does take off my tan which I really love so again I'll have everything linked down below this has been one of my favorite products it just smells so fresh and so clean it has tea tree 
and peppermint and lavender and all those good things and it also just helps prep my skin for my tan okay so once I'm showered and all exfoliated up and have soft baby skin this is when I go in with my tan and again I'll usually wait um, until the next day to put my tanning on so what I use for my tan is actually a lightsaber I love it so much I've used so many different tannings and there are some that are still really great besides this product but this is such a great price point and I'm tanning like once a week so I don't want to just like flush my bank account for self tanner but it's very important to me so I wanted to find one that I love and feel confident with but one that wasn't too expensive so this one is the Ulta Beauty bronze glow self tanning in ultra dark and it's just a tanning mousse and this was actually recommended to me by my good friend Sav and I will owe her everything in my whole life because when she told me about this like she just has a stunning tan all the time and so when I asked her what she used and she said it was this and it's like $12 I was so excited and this is like my second bottle and I love it so so much this is what I use for my whole body and I put it on just a cheapo little mat here I probably pick up a few of these just because they do get nasty and not good <laughs> obviously mine is well loved um, but this is what I do to tan my entire body and I just do circular motions going upwards on my arms my chest my legs and my back and when it comes to backs I do as much as I can by myself and then I have to recruit Sebastian to do the top of me which I haven't always done sometimes like if I know that I can get away with not having my back done if I'm in a hurry I'll just do my arms and my legs <laughs> but if I want to feel good um, especially like being in a swimsuit then I have to recruit a friend Sebastian whoever it is they need to get my back so this is my favorite for all over my body. I do like two pumps for each little section and just because I want it to be like very dark and prominent and I feel like this one even though like when it's developing you feel like it's so dark once you rinse it off it is such a gorgeous natural glow to your skin and I love it that's what makes me love this one the most is just the finish of it and also the smell it doesn't smell like too too much like self tan um it's not like amazing i think last year i used like this l'oreal one that was like a coconut scent and that one is amazing <laughs> like it smells so good this one smells like a tan but not like too too much so i feel like it's a good in between and especially for the finish and the color it's totally worth it and then next up for my face like i mentioned i do tan my face i used to not worry about it and then as summer came about you want to like go natural and i feel like i can't really go natural face if my face is white and my neck and my body is so tan so i did a little bit of research and i know there's amazing drops out there um isles of paradise is one i've heard a lot um tan lux has a good one but this one i wanted to try just because it was like I was already at Ulta picking up the tanning mousse, so I thought I would give it a try, and I actually love it. Again, it's a great price point. It is still the Ulta Beauty. This is the Bronze Glow Self Tanning um, Gradual Tan Drops. So with this kind of same as my exfoliator, I only use this like twice a week, just because I feel like it gives me a nice glow really quickly, and I don't want my face to be like too, too tan because my skin will naturally fade so I want my face to not be as tan if that makes sense if I were to do this every single day I feel like my face would be too tan and the rest of my body could not catch up since I only self tan once a week so I do this twice a week and all I do is at nighttime I'll pop a couple drops into my moisturizer and put it on my skin and go to bed and I can show you guys what it looks like so it has like a little bit of a yellow color to it um, but once it's on your skin I don't even notice it it's not like the mousse where it's developing so it's a little bit darker once this is on your skin it just blends right in and then you wake up in the morning and you're nice and glowy and that's how I like to describe it it's so natural so glowy um, towards the end of the week like I said you can kind of see like around my hairline and stuff it'll get a little bit faded out and like patchy but I, that's when I go in with my exfoliator scrub it off and start over so this has been my new favorite thing ever and then lastly I wanted to quickly just mention moisturizing so before I do my I guess this is a little out of order but before I do my tan I go in with my favorite moisturizer this is the Dr. Teal's coconut oil body lotion and I go in with this on certain areas like my ankles that's not my ankle <laughs> like my elbows my wrists my knees and my ankles so these areas of your body are kind of like the points where it could get your tan can get messed up really quickly so I go in with my moisturizer everywhere but I focus it especially on 
those key body areas and it helps just like the tan glide over it so it doesn't stick too much to your dry elbows or your dry knees or whatever it is and I found that that is such a helpful trick so I'll do that before I tan and then throughout the week every time I get out of the shower I give my whole body a nice moisturize with this lotion just to help the tan like naturally fade away as you guys can see I'm not like super tan just because I'm coming up I'm two days away from when I need to <laughs> reapply right before my trip. I've kind of extended it a little bit so that by the time I go to my trip, I'm all nice and dark. Um, but you can see like, even though it's fading, it's not like super patchy. Normally, like with other tans, it has kind of made that like alligator skin or like, I don't really know what it's called, but it's it just has like all these little holes and it looks so, so gross. So mine like has not done that, but it's faded really, really nicely. So my one tip is just to use that lotion to really help keep your skin nice and hydrated so that as your tan is like fading away, it's not like flaky and holding on to these dry patches of skin. So I recommend a lotion to keep your tan looking great and hydrated, but also just to help with that fading process. And so those are all of my tips for my self tanning routine. Again, I will leave everything down below if you would like to shop some of these products. Let me know your tanning secrets and favorites down below because I'm still trying to gather good products and trying to do the best I can to have a nice glowy tan for this summer. So I would love your recommendations and suggestions when it comes to self tan. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.